Serious questions are being asked as to how this tunnel could be dug under what's supposed to be the most secure prison in Europe. Seven feet deep and stretching some 30 yards, the tunnel had electric lighting installed and was just 90 feet away from the outer wall. It was shored up by the legs of prison chairs and bedboards given by prison doctors to inmates who claimed they were suffering from bad backs. It was dug from block H7, which holds 95 IRA prisoners. They've since been relocated. The North's prison officers paint a bleak picture of security within the maze itself. They say the paramilitaries run their own blocks. They aren't even locked into their cells at night. Within the each block, uh, the prisoners control their own living accommodation. They're do we do not go down there unless we have a specific task to do. Uh, and in some cases, you have to, have to consult with their OC to see that you can go down. Uh, so therefore, they, they basically do their, what they wish within their own living accommodation, their own exercise yards. We no longer lock them up. They're unlocked 24 hours a day. It begs the question, who's in charge? Searches at the maze are few and far between. And the DUP said before the last one, the authorities had to give the IRA 48 hours notice. Uh, effectively, the, the paramilitary commanders in each of the uh, wings controls that prison area. Is it any wonder under those circumstances that people can build tunnels, probably to the, the highest building control regulations available for such things? Claims rejected by Sir Patrick Mayhew. There is a very difficult task facing the prison service uh, in the maze with exceptionally dangerous people who are sentenced to very long terms of prison. Block H7 was from where the 1983 mass breakout was launched. 38 prisoners escaped. It was the biggest breakout in British prison history. Among them was Jerry Kelly, now a Sinn Féin negotiator and a candidate for the British general election. Had I been, uh, which I'm glad I'm not, one of the prisoners uh, who tried to escape, I guess I would be uh, fairly disappointed at the moment. But they do look upon themselves as prisoners of war. They are political prisoners. And they are in there as a result of the conflict. And they see it as their duty um, to escape. The management of the North's prisons is a sensitive issue. The authorities have to walk a tightrope, balancing security needs with the wishes of the inmates. Yet claims that they are left to their own devices 24 hours a day suggest prisoners are still enjoying special category status, which the British government supposedly abolished back in the 1980s.